Music Man? I like Music Man was probably my favorite. Because that one, like, I wrote that one, that, like, just totally came from the heart. It was like a true thing, you know, when I was a kid, a kid banging on pots and pans and then growing up. My favorite, my favorite R&R &R tour was Music Man. Tony wrote it, um, and it's not only because I had a bass solo in it, but it really captured us. Seven, and so I always felt like you know I wanted to do it, but I wasn't too disciplined then. And then picked it up again with uh, Chris Krolik actually when he bought a guitar, and we just started playing songs uh, in my house. And then eventually we moved to the garage. You know, you know, you know, you know, Frankie, you don't play guitar for the gig, and this will be some blood in Chicago. Hey, tell him we'll kick at his ass, eh? Hey. Huh? Tell him we'll kick his ass. Dickie will kick the fuck out of his Yeah, boss, yeah, this is Vito, suck a dickie. What happens to girls is garage stays in Unless it's already on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the garage was sort of the hub, you know, of all the partying. I mean, everybody sort of came there because it was the safest place to go when you're a teenager. Hi, guys. Carlos's garage was just a place of great karma and a good place for good friends and musicians to get together. <laughs> Carlos's garage. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Carlos's garage. It was basically to me, and I, I say this now, it was our West Bridgeport version of like a little Seattle. What would what would be your guys one of your favorite places to play back then? Like a place that you guys would call home. Had to be Sam's. Sam's. Yeah. 